Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. Let's understand the requirement that I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So we will be calling ScreenFlow through Aura component. So first of all, we need to create a ScreenFlow. Then we need to call ScreenFlow through Aura. And then we will be placing the Aura component either on record page or we can call it through quick action as well. So let's jump into the org and first quickly create a screen flow. So I'm creating a new flow. So in this screen flow, I'm going to create a screen uh, where I will be receiving some input from the user so that we can create new opportunity. So creating a screen and labeling it as opportunity info. Now from left hand side, you can just select text as a component and here you can provide it uh, label as name api will be name and it is required then to create a new opportunity we need to have one more field that is date close date so here you can search date and then select date so this component will be placed you can provide label as close date API is populated automatically. You can make it required as well. Now, if you want to create a opportunity, so along with name, close date, there's one more field required that is stays name. So it is of type pick list. So from here, you can search for pick list component. Now here you can label it as stays name required. Now, what we need to do, we need to link this pick list with the opportunity pick list field. So just click here, select new choice resource and select pick list choice set. So we are going to link this flow pick list with opportunity pick list field that is stage name and done. So now the stage name will be having values populated automatically. Now I'm clicking on done. I'm going to create one new resource variable named as record ID. Type is text and available for input. So it will be available for input from the Aura component. So this time this flow will be receiving the input from Aura component. So I just clicked on done. Now here I'm going to select one more element that is create records. So here we are going to create an opportunity. So I am selecting use separate resources and literal values. Object I'm selecting as opportunity. Then name. So on left hand side, you can see this name is a field of opportunity and right hand side, uh, we are receiving name from user in the name screen component. So I'm linking it. Then we need to add one more row so that we can link close date. So this left hand side is field and right hand side is screen component. Then adding one more field. So this time I am going to link stage. So here we have two stage names. One is pick list choice set and one is screen component. So you need to select screen component because it is all automatically having that uh, pick list choice set. So I linked it. Then we need to populate the account ID with this record ID so that the opportunity which you are creating. So basically we will be creating this uh, opportunity on the account record. So it should be linked to the account record automatically after the creation. So with this, uh, it will be connected. And now I'm clicking on done. So this way our screen flow is created. I'm going to save it. I'm saving it as screen flow for Aura and it is the API name for this flow. And I'm just clicking on save. And activating it. So this flow first part is completed. Now I need to create an aura component. So I just need to click here on gear icon. 
I am just opening developer console. Now here I need to create new components. So I'm closing this file, clicking on file new. And from here I'm selecting lightning component. So I'm going to name it as call flow. And I will be placing this lightning component on the record page and quick action, right? So I'm enabling these two, two check boxes so that this flow, sorry, this aura component will be available to place on the record page and to call from the quick action. So here you can see two files are available. So this is just for description. So you can close it. And here in this uh, aura component, you need to write your code. So here you can see we have these interfaces which are implemented. So this is first one that is available for record home. Then we have force colon has record ID and then force colon lightning quick action. So available for record home um, will make it, this lightning component will be available for uh, placement on the record page. Then if you want to fetch the ID of the record on which this flow, sorry, this aura component is placed so that ID will be fetched automatically through this interface has a record ID. And if you want to place this aura component on the quick action, so you need this interface, right? Now, what we can do, I'm just creating one handler name of this handler is in it. So if you are not aware much with the code, so this will seem difficult to you, but if you know a little bit of code, so it will be very easy for you. So generally a uh, custom developer perform this operation. So if you created a flow, so you can work with your uh, custom developer, or if you are uh, already a custom developer, then I think uh, you will be able to understand this. So this is a handler which will run automatically. In it means it will be initialized whenever your component is loaded on the browser. Value equals to this means this uh, component uh, handler, like whatever method you want to run uh, when your component is loaded. So that method is defined inside this component itself. And the method name is doing it, right? So this doing it method, we need to define in the, the uh, aura components controller that will be written in JavaScript. So before that, I need to write one more statement that is lightning colon flow aura colon ID equals to flow data. So this way, lightning component uh, view, this is known as view of lightning component, like your lightning flow will be placed here automatically with the help of this ID. So now at right hand side, you just need to click on controller so that JavaScript file will be opened. And uh, there you can write the code related to your handlers method. So I'm just copying this name and I'm placing it here. Now here we need to create a variable named as flow and we need to write component dot find flow data. So here you can see we created a, a markup lightning flow whose ID is flow data. So this I'm uh, finding with the help of component dot find. I just uh, passed or ID and the, the, the returned value will be available in this flow variable. Now, after this, we need to set input values in our variable. So we are going to set input values in our variable. So I'm creating variable named as input variables. Now inside this, I'm going to provide the name as record ID. Type will be string and value. I'm going to fetch through component dot get v dot record ID. 
right? So here, what we can do, we can create one attribute named as record ID and its type will be of type string. So because of this interface has record ID, when you will be placing this component on the record page, so that uh, records ID will be available in this record ID variable automatically. And that variable we are uh, fetching here through component.get. So uh, this value uh, will be assigned into this uh, input variable name as record ID. Now we are going to pass this into the flow. So after creation of this variable, you can call your flow. So you can write flow dot start flow and inside parenthesis, you need to provide the API name of your flow. So from properties, I can fetch the API name and I'm placing it here. And here I'm going to pass input variables. So this way, uh, lightning component is created. So you can just save both the files, this components view and this components controller. Now, after saving it, you can jump to your account record. So open any of the account record and uh, click on this gear icon, edit page. So lightning app builder is open. And from here, I'm going to remove the previously placed components. And if I scroll down, so at the bottom, you can see I have a custom component named as call flow. And if I take you here, so our component name is also call flow, right? So this way I can drag and drop it. So you can see. Uh, I just placed my aura component and it is automatically showing that uh, flow here. So now I can just click on save, go back. So this way you can use your screen flow in the aura component. So here, uh, name, close date and stays we can populate. and then uh, click on next. So it is executed and uh, this opportunity is not linked here. So let me just check whether opportunity is created or not. Yeah, opportunity is created, but it is not connected. So uh, just do a refresh. And uh, you can see like account name is populated here in this opportunities list because it is refreshed. And if you go to account now, so here also you can see the newly created opportunity. So after creation of opportunity, you just need to refresh your page so that it will reflect. And if after completion of uh, opportunity creation, if you want to just uh, apply force refresh, so that code also you can write in your aura component. So for that, uh, you need to uh, like search like how we can refresh the uh, page just after uh, action is performed. Otherwise, in this scenario, you just need to refresh your page so that you can see your opportunity linked to the account. So this way, I hope you understood like how we can call a screen flow through aura component in Salesforce.